Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Cash App and more specifically, we're gonna see if you can cancel a stock purchase order on your Cash App application. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're not familiar with Cash App, it's definitely one of the more popular peer-to-peer -peer payment apps out there. Basically what it is, is you can use this app to send money between family and friends. So a lot of people use it when they're splitting a bill at like a restaurant or maybe the grocery store. Because when you send payments out, it goes through to their app almost immediately. Immediately. Once it's in their app, then they can use it how they wish. So they can deposit it into their bank account. They can use it off their Cash App card or they can buy stocks with it. But can you cancel an order for a stock purchase on the Cash App once it's already been initiated? That's what we're going to answer. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Cash App. It's this green and white one right here. If you don't have this app already, be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave a referral link there. But I'm going to go ahead and open the app now. All right, I went ahead and opened up the Cash App and this is the home screen. And here on the home screen, you can go ahead and request money for from someone. You can also pay somebody with these two really easy to reach buttons. Down here on the bottom, you have various options about your account so you can see your balance. You can check on your Cash App cash card. But if you want to cancel a, an order with Cash App, if you tried to buy, purchase a stock, that's kind of a complicated question to answer. So what you want to do is go ahead and look down here at the bottom right. There's this little clock icon. That's your historical transactions on Cash App. I'm going to go ahead and click there now. All right. So I went ahead and clicked on that button. This brings you up to the Cash App activity screen. Here on the screen, you're going to see different transactions. So if you sent somebody money or if they sent you money, it's all going to be listed in here. But also if you have recently purchased a stock on the Cash app, then that transaction is going to be listed here as well. Now, as you can see right here, you have pending transactions and also completed transactions. The thing is with stock prices, they do vary by the minute because the stock price is always changing. So if you set up an order on your cash app for a stock purchase, that order is placed immediately, but it can't actually be filled or completed until the stock has been completely purchased. So we're going to use this one as an example. I just did a video on purchasing Zoom on cash app and I'm doing this video on the weekend. On the weekend, the stock market is closed. It's not going to open again until Monday morning. So what happens is once I place this order for Zoom, it's going to sit here. Today's Saturday. It's going to sit here th all through Saturday, all through Sunday, and it won't be able to be filled until Monday morning. Once it gets filled, then the order would move from pending into completed. But as of right now, it's still pending. Now, here's the nice thing. If you place an order on Cash App for a stock purchase and it has not been filled or completed yet, then yes, you can cancel the order. And here's how you do it. If you look at the order right here next to Zoom, I put in an order for $5 of Zoom stock that has not been filled, but it has this button here to the right. It's called cancel. I'm going to click there now. All right next, this pops up. It says, are you sure you want to cancel this $5 purchase of Zoom? Zoom stock, yes or no. So if you want to cancel, you go ahead and click yes. I'm going to click there now. All right. And just a few seconds later, the activity screen pops back up. So as you can see, my Zoom stock price transaction has now been canceled. As you can see right below it, it says purchase canceled. And the $5 that I was going to use to purchase Zoom has now been returned to my account. And you can see that right down here at the bottom, I had $325 in my cash app. It now says $330 because that $5 was in hold status until the pending Zoom stock purchase was completed. Since I canceled it, then Cash App automatically added the $5 back into my Cash App balance. So to answer the question for can you cancel a stock purchase in the Cash App, the answer is yes, as long as the transaction has not been filled or completed. But usually the orders are going to fill pretty quickly unless you order them on the weekends. So you do have a very small window or no opportunity to cancel a stock purchase on the Cash App, especially if you're buying it when the stock market is open. So hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up and I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching.